So we have about 10 minutes for the first block of questions. If you could just raise your hands and we can pick some people out of the audience. Don't be shy. Um, not everybody all at once now. Anybody? Um, this is Rebecca Elliott. Um, we don't want to the show. Um, it allows Muslims to laugh at themselves, but it also allows non-Muslims that peek into what the lives of Muslims might be like. I think a third thing that the show actually does is um, require Muslims to reimagine what identity means in Canada. I was wondering if you could speak to that one. I'm just going to take a second question and then we can work together. Great. Sir, that's okay. Sir? Yes, uh, thank you. Also, I would be, um, not everybody in the Muslim community is so enthusiastic about Little Mosque and Prairie. And surely in your research, you must have heard some of the, the comments that are less than positive, and I'd like to hear what some of them, them are. Uh, I will start with the second one. Um, my paper that I have published, it is CBC Little Mosque on the Prairie, just a little masquerade. And it is one of the criticism from the Canadian Muslim Congress, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll have to check my, uh, my papers on this. But it is one of the Muslim uh, um, entities in Canada that are absolutely rejecting this at them, saying it is just making us jokes. And we do not accept this. I mean, funny, even hilarious, this is something. But when it comes to religion, so many uh, Muslims, Canadians, they are very sensitive of, you know, approach from this perspective. Um, yes, I have acknowledged this in, in my research about that. That is true, it's one perspective, but I would say it is not the majority. The majority of the, the response of CBC Little <coughs> it is more of a positive like perspective, positive attitude, be it from Muslim and non-Muslim as well. Uh, many people, uh, and if I would just talk about this in, in one second, in, from academic literature, what we are teaching students even in media representation and so on, we always tend to say media tend to portray or affirm what, um, what is the negative uh, portrayal, for example, or uh, if I would say, how would I say this? Um, it is reaffirming the status quo, per se. Uh, but for the first time, CBC did not do that, did not affirm what is happening. It is attempting to change it. And the, I think it's very simple as it's okay to laugh at yourself. And uh, since we are talking with stories, um, I want to share some story with you. I'm always asked this question. Are Muslims allowed to put lipstick? Are Muslims allowed to put nail polish? Are Muslims allowed to wear this and this? And I think it's very subjective, it's very interpretive, it depends on you, on how you think you want people to see you. It's not right or wrong religiously, but how people <coughs> want to see you. And now I forgot the first question. Oh, um, I was just saying, uh, you know, Muslim Prairie does a few things. Like, one thing that it does is uh, gives people a glimpse into lives of Muslims, what it might uh, mean to be a Muslim. The other thing it does is also um, allow Muslims to laugh at themselves. But the other, the third thing that it does is a very, very, very Canadian thing um, in the spirit of multiculturalism. It sort of asks Muslims to reconsider what it means to be a Canadian Muslim. And I was wondering if you could speak to that a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that is a very sound argument. Uh, I would agree with you. It is ha it is not only changing, but it is asserting the Canadian identity. You know, it, sometimes when we're, we're speaking about laws, it seems so utopian and so abstract. We have Multiculturalism Act. We have the Canadian Charter. Say everyone is equal and blah blah blah. This is one thing. But are we all feel the same? Are we all experience the same? What about our Canadianness, our identity, how it's shaped? Um, for this attempt, again, about CBC Little Mosque, it is shaping, reconstructing the Canadian Muslim identity that it is seen for in prime time in, in, in mainstream media, not alternative, mainstream media. So this is nice in a sense for a second generation, for, for three of you, you can say this. For second generation Muslim, it's very important to see yourself. As a mirror and as reflecting yourself, it is 
more emphasizing your Canadianness, your identity uh, in media simply, but in real life it is it need more I mean, more attempt, more progressiveness, not simply in, in the media. It is more embedded. <laughs> Any more questions? Would you like the microphone or? I love you, Kelly. I love what you're doing. I love what you represent. However, I do have one more to think about. It's the way that converts are depicted. And I wonder if you've had the opportunity to speak to people, um, North American Muslims who were born and raised here and converted to Islam. Uh, and, you know, if, if you have been able to um, include any research on people like me who's been around for quite a while, but um, I'm a 10th generation American. So I was just wondering about that. Thank you very much. That's a very really important point. Uh, this is one of the downfalls of, of this attempt for cities in the mosque because we are viewing only one perspective of Muslim. For example, I would say this is a purely Muslim Sunni, for example, perspective. This is more of um, first generation. Not, but but there is a new. That there are. Uh, I think Rayan, Rayan's mom, the character. She is a convert. She's a Canadian convert in, in the. So and she's not veiled. She's not wearing headscarf. Her daughter is wearing headscarf. She's married to um, a Canadian from a Liberian origin. Her mom, his mom, want to matchmaking and wants him to marry a second wife per Islamic rules. But she is refusing. And lots of funny discourse. I would say yes, it is true. It is not represented of every single Muslim sect, every Muslim single. Um, standpoint and so on, it is just an initial start. It is taking slowly to to, to the visibility of Muslim, which is okay. I think at, at another stage, I don't know if it will be successful or not, but another stage, they might be incorporating more of other voices, maybe may, might be some controversy from within the community itself, like, um, conflict, something like this. I don't know if it will be successful or not, or it will be funny or not. But it is very true. Your point is very true and very valid. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you to Dr. Alia and to Amen, who have given us two very different and two very important perspectives on how media is used as a form of narrative and storytelling.